So uh, first of all, I would say that if you look at the folks who are the best venture capitalists over time, some of them have very deep operating backgrounds and have been entrepreneurs themselves, and actually some of them have not. Uh, so some of the very best uh, venture capitalists, uh, as an example, Mike Moritz um, had a background as a journalist before he became a VC. Uh, John Doerr had a background, had worked at, um, in engineering and sales at, uh, at, at Intel. Uh, at, a, at, a, at Monsanto before that, actually, when Monsanto had a chip business uh, uh, back in the uh, early 80s. Um, and so uh, you know, he had experience in, in business, but had not himself started a company. Um, actually, interestingly, Tom Perkins had um, the, the actual original, one of the original co-founders of Kleiner Perkins, but, uh, but John had not. Um, and, you know, and then in contrast, of course, Vinod Khosla um, uh, had been uh, himself a very successful entrepreneur uh, as another example. And then uh, Don Valentine, another great VC, uh, had been a very experienced operator uh, of, of in, the, in the chip business. So you get this very interesting cross-section um, of, of sort of success cases. And so one of the things I try to do is not so kind of say up front, I don't think there's necessarily a predictor that just because somebody has an operating background or has been an entrepreneur that they're going to be a good VC, or conversely, that if you don't, you're not going to be a good VC. Um, that said, um, you know, part of the reason we became venture capitalists, my, my business partner Ben Horowitz and I became venture capitalists after starting and running companies ourselves, um, was because we think it can be quite helpful and additive um, to a startup when their investors and board members have actually done it before um, and have actually been through uh, the um, experiences. And of course, we, we go on to say that this is completely irrelevant in the case where your company just instantaneously succeeds and everything is up and to the right and everything is glorious. Um, then anybody can be a good board member. You know, it's when the times get tough and things get difficult. Um, it helps a lot to have been through a layoff or a restructuring uh, or a forced sale or a recap, you know, all the other things that you uh, restart and all the other things you end up going through as an entrepreneur. Um, and so, you know, I do think that's helpful and important. 